Hello! Welcome to our live stream from Mighty Fine Studios in Denver, Colorado. Thank you so much for being here. We are so stoked that you chose to spend your Friday night with us. Woo! Tonight we got two sets with one mic set up just like we had to do at the band competitions a few years back. So fill up your drinks, make some snacks, pop some popcorn, and enjoy the show. Thanks for being with us. Woo-woo! Ah! What's up, everybody? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in with us. We are so excited to be playing music for all of you again. We can hear you making noise at home, believe it or not. It's in our mind, but we can hear it. All right, we're going to do a song off the new album. This one's called Through the Pines. Thanks, Kirk, for this one. i 
places we couldn't keep Fell so fast and much too deep And now we slumber beneath the falling dust And our youth, you know we felt we must Then it all comes crashing down We both drift from the sound of the wind Blowing through the pines again What's up? Nice. Hope everybody's doing good out there in internet land. Uh, yeah, we decided we had so much fun at the last live stream that we decided to do this three more times. Uh, and we wanted to do something like different every time. And we were trying to figure out what that could be. And we were thinking uh back to the telluride bluegrass festival that when we tried out we had to try out around like a single mic because that's how they used to do it back in the old days like the bands had to mix their own sound and and we kind of had to learn how to do it so we thought that that would be a fun thing to try again yeah in one of our favorite spots here at mighty fine studios in denver colorado uh yeah so we're gonna play some folky stuff uh and here's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to be able to hear everyone and hear the harmonies and kind of play like we do around a table or in the kitchen or wherever we're rehearsing, too. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Go of you 
song we're going to play <laughs> well. Well, well. is, uh, I, th I think the, uh, the start of this song was around this time of year. I was up in Ward, Colorado, and uh, was on this lake, and it was a spring-fed lake. It was frozen, but underneath the ice, underneath our feet, it was like, like gurgling water, and you could see the water moving, and it was a uh, it was a very neat thing to experience, and uh, and so this that is uh, an experience that kind of birthed this next song. Flex 
Questions focused on a line So just give it time, just give it time Water flows and ice it knows What it's gonna be Crack so deep the water comes up From the ground and boils underneath ideas still Tender, loud and sweet, our voices echo. I decided after the last one we we're all we we're all very modest, you know, after each one because we can't really hear you clapping and stuff. Yes, we can. You know? yes, we, we can. can. Yes, we can. We can. We can. It's been established. We can yeah. hear them. <laughs> he can. But I'm not taking what he's taking. But uh, <laughs> like, everybody say yeah. yeah. <laughs> On that note, quick reminder to everybody out there that this is a um, holiday weekend coming up here. Um, and you know, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be this big elaborate thing, but it's just nice. <laughs> I'm not saying this just for myself. I'm just saying it's nice. <laughs> it's, it's just nice to acknowledge your love, you know. And um, so uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is this next song I'm going to dedicate to my wife. Um, my dad told me a while back that I should write a song for her. And this is what came out. That's a good so one. I'm sticking with it. Love you, hey. This one goes out to all the lovers out there. <laughs> Too bitty. Make 
short years have passed and gone I can't feel my roots running deep Fell in love with a girl from the mountain And there ain't no other place that I'd rather be We'll plant a garden in the springtime Work together on the land Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Valentine's thank Day you. weekend <laughs> party celebration. Yeah, you don't have to do anything big, but you do need to host a live stream and shout out your wife oh. and dedicate a song to her. So good luck, everybody out there. Are we getting some love? Oh, oh, yes. That's sweet. See, yes. told you it works. <laughs> works every time. <laughs> this is uh, a love ish song. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, this is a lovish song. This song we learned from, uh, or we first heard when we were on the cruise ship uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, and there was a bunch of people who were playing music out there, uh, a bunch of our heroes. And one of them was Steve Earle. And uh, heard him play the song on a mandolin in a, in a ballroom that was like swaying back and forth. It's very strange. I have a picture of Kay's guitar case next to my little case. There you go. And both of them have tape on them with our names. It's pretty nice. Official. We're like this. This one's for you, Steve Earl. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Took a stroll down the old long walk of day. I, I, I met a little girl and we started to talk on a fine soft day. I, I,
was all alone With a broken heart and a ticket home Thanks, y'all. Yeah. Man, it's fun to play music with human beings again. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Does <Wow>. feel good. <laughs> hey, uh, just want to make a quick cheers. To all of you out there yeah. in YouTube, Facebook, virtual land, thank you for being with us on this Friday night. We hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop right now. <laughs> Cheers. Love you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cheers, gentlemen. Ladies. <laughs> mm. Anyways, anyways, where were we? All this is scripted. I didn't write the script. <laughs> Travis did. <laughs> I'm making him say all this stuff. <laughs> Probably like this.
a lovely one. It's so nice just for us to be hanging out, singing around these mics. It's just nice not to have to go through all the headphones and all that. Big time. Let's see you guys right here. Um, I just had a memory just now. Oh. <laughs> one year ago from this weekend, we were in Livingston, Montana. What's up, Montana residents? Uncle Steve. Um, we were in Livingston, Montana, and we were playing a two-night run at the Pine Creek Lodge, and we had a great idea. Uh, if you can't tell that we think it's funny, we decided to do an uh, all-love song set. We were like, we're gonna, we, we learned all these different ones, and we were all excited about it. We like made this whole set, and it was Valentine's Day uh, yeah. weekend, and or no, it was Valentine's Day, and we were performing, and we went up there, and we were all excited about it, and we were like, ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure, <laughs> we are going to do an all love song set, and everyone was like, boo! <laughs> <laughs> they hated it. We changed it up a little it bit. sucked, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, took the wind out of our sails for like one second. I know. We were like, like ah, whatever. <laughs> Love is all you need. Here we go. Yep. Looking at faces, wondering why their bodies go to silly places. Driving past the carpet mills, walking in, taking scissors, your ass, it draws me in like a Bermuda highway. Basement, breathing in the cobwebs and the semen Sometimes I wonder why the good guy got all the fame Maybe I'm to blame For his short, bitter, messed up life Oh, don't carve me out Don't let your Silly dreams fall in between the crack of the bed and the wall. Ah, ah. Morning Jacket, that song's by My Morning Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that for? Who are you clarifying for? Who doesn't know that? I was making sure Casey knew. Who's I didn't it? know. <laughs> <laughs> set break this evening because we have some cool stuff to share with you in the intermission and 
I love this next song. You can love songs, you can love people, you can love meals. There's a lot of different types of love. Just saying. You can love dogs. What else, Bev? Your shoes. Music. Love Basically loves. anything you can think of. <laughs> this is all in the script. <laughs> Trap, you're ready. <laughs> you're rough. I had some drinks last night. <laughs> That's right in the script. Well, so. practice. <laughs> right of practice. We're a little rusty. Usually a good writer. Usually a good writer. This banjo is hard to tune. Go on. Uh, Does that help if I go? Yep. Shout out to my dad, Rick McNamara, that every time that I'm tuning, I'm like tuning, he'll go, Ooh. I'm like, that doesn't help. Oh, throw your dad under the
Thanks, y'all, so much. We're going to take a quick set break. But like Bevan said, we got some fun stuff lined up for you for the intermission. So we'll see you in a second. See you soon. Hi, everybody. It's Bevan. Um, so we have this really cool poster that Will drew for our Up in the Air tour. And he got the idea from a friend of ours. And we just wanted to bring her on and kind of like ask her some questions about where this idea of having a trout riding a unicorn came from. So let me bring Zell into the room. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Can you hear me? I can. I okay. can hear you. I just keep asking the same question over and over. <laughs> so I wanted to bring you on today so that we could kind of tell everyone how you came up with this idea yeah, my of mom the cool know. poster art, the trout riding a unicorn. <laughs> how did you come up with that creative idea? Well, I pretty much thought, um, well, I was, it was really, I just like, my mom was like, hey, there's this little thing where they're wondering if they, you could have an idea for this poster. So I was like, okay. And so I was like, okay, well, I don't really have an idea. But then I looked all over my clothes and was like, oh, okay, maybe a trout riding a unicorn. Cause I was wearing like this unicorn dress or something like that. I was like, oh, I mean, it, like the unicorn, like it has magical powers and it, like it kind of makes you think of like every single animal. So I was yeah. thinking, that would be an idea. So yeah. I love it. Do you love how it came out? I love yeah, the rainbows really cool. and the cool cloud letters. Yeah, I like the red sun. It's really cool. Me too. And it's like little tentacles that come out. Will did such a great job with the art, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, my other question for you is we were kind of gathering some memories that people have of Trout Seek. And I know you've been to a lot of shows, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Do you know how old you were when you first, like your first show? Um, I think I was like four or five. Oh, I think so too. It, That's yeah, crazy. Cause, cause the, uh, the only thing, uh, like one of the only rem memories I have is like walking up to you. Like I, I had just like gotten my violin. So I, yeah. I was like, I remember walking up to you and telling you that I was playing violin and was like, yeah. <laughs> so cool. I remember that too. Well, thank yeah. you so much. We, we, we want to send you one of these posters. Does that sound good? Yeah. Thank you. Cool. We'll send you one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for letting me interview today, Zell. Okay. Bye. Have anything to say? Um, thank you for, you. for having this. <laughs> this is really cool. It's so awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Me. Hey guys, I just wanted to share my favorite memory with you. Back in 2016, when I fell and shattered my ankle, I was couch and bed ridden and had a lot of free time on my hand. And that's when I first heard your music. And I can't tell you how much just listening to your music helped with my recovery process. And you also sent me a signed personalized vinyl record that I had kept on a nightstand next to my bed, which gave me very good positive vibes while I was healing. And I can't tell you how much those songs meant to me, listening to them while I was just laying there in bed for months at a time. And then finally getting to meet all you guys, seeing a few shows has been nothing more than spectacular. And that's why you guys are my favorite. I absolutely love you guys and wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you here very soon. Good luck. I have so many trout steak memories over the years. Um, gosh, I've been there, I feel like since the beginning, but the undoubted most memorable time was clearly the 2014 Telluride Bluegrass Band Competition. 
when Trout Steak Revival won. We were camped in Town Park. Just the whole weekend, the memories, the vibes, the celebrations, the crowd going crazy in Elm Park, the crowd going crazy when Trout Steak Revival was announced as the 2014 band comp winners of the Tell Ride Bluegrass Festival and the celebration we had in Town Park that night. I don't know that that will ever be rivaled again. That might have been one of my greatest music memories in history. Love y'all. Hope you're all doing well. Hey guys, Kevin and Jenny here. We've been big Trout Steak fans since 2011 when we stumbled upon them playing barefoot in the streets of Telluride. One of my favorite memories is when we saw you guys play at the Steam and Bean in Telluride in 2012 and you ended the show with Travis at the piano playing the wait while the whole crowd sang along. It was awesome and that's where we actually got this poster. My favorite memories from a few years later, in 2015, we went to see Trout Steak play at Powderhorn, and after the show, a few friends and I were in the parking lot playing some tunes. Uh, before we knew it, Trout Steak came out and started jamming along with us, and after playing a few songs, they actually asked me what I wanted to play, and I was kind of a new banjo player at the time, so picked my favorite four chord song and said, let's play Learning to Fly. Well, little did I know, it was my responsibility to end the song, and 20 minutes later, we're still playing Learning to Fly, and we still joke about that to this day. And a few years later, 2018, we went to see them play at Winter Park and it was just a couple months after Tom Petty passed away. And we're standing there in the crowd and all of a sudden I start hearing those chords, F, C, A minor, G, and they played Learning to Fly. And that is a moment I will never forget. We love you guys and miss you and hope to see you soon. Cheers. Hey guys, love your music. You've been awesome for our family, for our, all of our friends. But I was blessed a couple nights ago to go see live music. It was a social distancing thing. We had masks, but it was live music the first time in 12 months. And I was not an emotional guy, but as I sat there listening to this music, I got filled with all kinds of emotions. I felt the bass pounding through my veins. I saw the band smiling. I was smiling, I looked behind and all the social distancing people were all smiling and happy. And I started thinking, why is this? And it's because music fills people's souls. There's doctors that can fix your heart. There's teachers that can teach you to, you know, to learn. There's construction workers that build your houses. But musicians like you guys fill a void in people's souls. And it's so important and it's so awesome. And you guys have no idea how much it means. And all your fan base, when they come and see you next time, you better have a big thing of tissues because it's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, Trot Steak. Um, thanks for including us into your greatest memories. Um, when we think about Trout Steak, there's so many memories. We think about... Evergreen, where it all started. Um, we were joking about the first time we were trying to find the buck snort so we could watch you guys play live for the first time in front of I don't know, a dozen or so people. <laughs> and then you fast forward to the GSP mm -hmm. pig roast. And then, you know, Zio's. I felt like we were at Zio's countless times where the uh, libation... <laughs> Lady knew us by name. Uh -huh. And then we fast forward to the first time we saw you guys at a venue, the Bluebird. Um, and we were just laughing to ourselves about the people gushing over our friends mm -hmm. and how they wish they could meet um, Will the Thrill or Casey and Bevan. And... Um, you know, takes us to Telluride. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my favorite memories we were just talking about was uh, when we all went to Telluride, when you all competed for the first time. We didn't win that time, um, but it was fun just to see you compete. And when uh, we went over to your condo to watch you all warm up, um, that was really neat to be in such a small place. Listening to you guys and um, being able to hear like how far you'd come in your music was really cool. 
And then the second time you guys competed, uh, me and Amanda running around our house and <laughs> yeah. garage celebrating the announcement that mm -hmm. you guys won. Yeah. We were so happy and proud. Yeah. And then, uh, the last time we saw you play live was at the Mission Ball, and it was our turn to be in awe of you guys and what felt like thousands of people just there to see you guys. Yeah, so awesome. Um, and Casey pointing at <laughs> Amanda and I and Travis just smiling and, and just, we're so proud of you guys, so yeah. happy you guys, um, for you guys and look forward to many more future live concerts. Yes, many more. You Thank guys, you. Take care. Mm -hmm. Hi, Travis Steak. I'm Keenan. Thanks for doing this live stream. Hey, Will, did you know that the best musky fly ever is called the pie fly? I went to see my honey on the 4th of July. Oh, she baked home at apple pie. Yeah, she knows how to treat me right. Oh, I get it almost every night. Pie, pie, pie. All I want is pie. Hot and cold, nine days old. I love that. Hey everyone. Hi everyone. We first heard Trout Steak Revival play live at Winter Wondergrass Tahoe in 2016. We'd never really listened to bluegrass music before that, and we'd certainly never been to a bluegrass festival. That's right, we were standing in a tent right about here when we first heard Trout Steak perform. We fell in love with the music and the energy, and we've been fans of Trout Steak and bluegrass music ever since. And while we love the live stream shows, we're really looking forward to see Trout Steak play again live. When that happens, we'll be right here waiting. Well, maybe not right here, because it can get a little cold here, but we are looking forward to spending some time with Trout Steak on the river this summer at River Wondergrass. Love you guys. Thanks for all the music. It's a walleye. You like my hat? <laughs> Thanks for doing the live stream.
Well, that was so fun watching all those fan videos. They really, uh, really just warm my heart seeing uh, all the all the words that all of our all of our friends had to say. I know. I wanted to give everybody a hug. Yeah. We're giving you a hug right now. Thank you. And <laughs> that we had so many submissions that we could only use some of them. So for everybody that sent them in, thank you. We all watched thank you them. So much. They're beautiful, and you're beautiful. And who knows what will happen? Maybe we'll make a movie. <laughs> Feature <laughs> film. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not going to. But don't worry. We could if we wanted to. And I want to get a shout out to my niece. Not technically a niece. I am a, an uncle to a cat and a dog. Uh, but also my niece, Grace. I saw you saying hi on the, on the computer, Grace. So hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. The light that shone off you as you filled up my coffee was gold like the sun through the blind. It's a painting of you in the back of my eye Your figure was clear like a bulb in a mirror Oh, the siren in silence to climb The picture is fading so I keep painting bright colors in the back of my eye The image of you could stick just like glue to a wall in a house in my mind the palette I lifted and my head was shifted to abstract and dreamy design. Broad brush strokes of color complement each other, keep shades from losing their shine. Pain it is peeling, so I keep stealing bright colors for the back of my eye. I'm stealing bright colors for the back of my eyes from my own memory. When my eyes were looking at you And yours were looking at me song that is just extremely positive. I love this song. Oh. That was a good song. Actually, we write a lot of positive songs. It's kind of our thing. But don't box us in. Don't box don't, us in or anything. Don't box us in. You know what I mean? Well, I need some freedom. Very positive. <laughs> but we'll try to keep it positive. <laughs> Back 
Bev doesn't usually laugh at any of our jokes, so she might be acting right now. <laughs> we don't know. Travis wrote it in the script. Yeah, that's right. Bev and laughs. laughs. Getting better and the best is yet to come. You talk about leaving your feet one move. You've been looking for another to carry through. You gotta rise up, rise up, and let it all in. All along we'll lose and together we'll win. Yeah, the good is getting better. To come, it only takes a little spark to get a fight going. It's a fleeting existence, a cloud in the sky. An image seen clearly in a future mind's eye. Yeah, these moments, these moments, these moments are true. children do yeah the good is getting better and the best is yet to come it only takes a little spark to get a fire going Thanks, everybody. That's a positive song. Right. Give me a second. Just straight from the. One, two, three, two, two, three. Well, I had to guess. your heartbreak, you heard me say, I was distracted and unavailable, now here we lay, watching embers fade, tell me how to make love. Right, your body. 
everybody said differently I can't read your mind And I think that you should leave Leave me with all these tears Out in the dark Watched your heartbreak, you heard me say. I was distracted and unavailable. Now here we lay, watching embers fade. Tell me how to make love. Stay when you feel. No answers swirling around Please take my hand and we'll figure it out Watched your heart break, you heard me say I was distracted and unavailable Now here we lay, watching embers fade Tell me how to make love stay Beautiful. Okay, Bonita. What we got next, Trap? Uh, oh, man. Ooh. Cool. That's a fun one. Uh, this is one, speaking of the Telluride Bluegrass Festival Band Competition, uh, we had to do a, uh, we had to do a fast one and a slow one and an instrumental one. And this was the slow one that we did. Uh, I, we heard it, I heard it originally from, uh, uh, Chris Thiele and Michael Daves. Yeah. That was awesome hearing all those Telluride memories from everybody in the fan videos. I know, it really did. It's like brought me right back to Telluride. Yep, hanging with Nate. Thanks, Nate. Nate Dove. Brought us right back, man. <laughs> It takes one to know one, and I 
know you Little darling Won't you please Hold my hand You can't go Right on and cry I'll understand Ain't no mind If I'm crying too It takes one to know one And I know you It takes one to know one And I know you It's a little tear in your smile I see through You've been hurt And you're crying and you're so blue It takes one to know one And I know you Kevin Foley on the fiddle, everybody. <laughs> Give it up. Thank you. Whew. Let's do it. Ooh, hey, I was like, that was so... She ready. <laughs> I think that's about that little Girl, bit. Good, ready. After that chorus is like one of my favorite parts about being in the band. <laughs> I just get to like be like, oh, it's so tender. I just get to watch it and listen. Hmm. This is a whole another type of love song. Yep, whole another, whole another. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Go on. 
How's everybody doing? <laughs> Is everybody, out there? everybody hanging in? <laughs> Good. Good. Thanks any, for any being questions, here with case? us. No right? real questions. I want to give a shout out to all of our friends and family out there. We're loving the comments. I'd love to yeah. respond to everything, but we can't. So for Adam Lopez, you're out there. I know you're watching. Let's keep the comments about our facial and hair and stuff, you know. Keep well, everything positive. Keep, yeah, try he's to keep positive out there. He's wondering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't screw with the positive image yeah, that we man. got going. I feel okay. pretty good about everything. <laughs> I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling good. You look great, Case. Thanks. You too. You said some shit about you. <laughs> it's YouTube. It's not network television. That's right. <laughs> he's coming back at me. Good luck. Adam Lopez, we will boot you. So just, <laughs> we have the authority and we'll do it. <laughs> Sweet.
got one more song for you. Before we play that song, I want to thank, we want to thank all of you for being here, yeah. being there, being with us, and uh, it just, it feels so great. And I want to give a thank you to Mighty Fine Productions. We've got Colin Bricker, Kyle Zender running the show in the control room, and... We love them. We do. We love them. We love them. I do. Yeah. And one of our favorite parts about, well, there's a lot of favorite parts, but we all got COVID tests so that we could all like be together here uh, doing this. And after this, we get to go into uh, the studio lounge and drink a beer together. And it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun, but that's fun too. I'm just excited about this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Should we tell them what... Uh what the vibe of our next stream on March, March 12th, yeah. March 12th. We are going to be here Friday night, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And it's the holiday weekend. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it is not going to be a one mic setup. We are going to bring all of our microphones and cables and effects and lights. we are going to get lights set up in here. In fog. Fog machines. It's going to be wild. Would you say it's like party atmosphere? Oh, bring your party <laughs> face. Oh, man. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> is this a party age. song? We're this is age. not a party song. This is not song. a party <laughs> song. <laughs> no, no. All right, bring it back down. All right. Uh, but this last song is a very beautiful song written by Daniel Johnston. Uh, he's a musician that... He passed away, I think, in 2019, and uh, yeah, he left left a lot of beautiful music. True love will find you in the end. You'll find out just who was your friend. Don't be sad, I know you will But don't give up until True love will find you in the end This is a promise with a catch only if you're looking can it find you cause true love is searching too but how can it recognize you if you don't step out into the light the light don't be sad I know Don't give up until True love will find you in the end Thank you. Thanks, guys. We love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Nice to see you next month. <laughs> <laughs>